Hello everyone, I'm Michaela Kathleen and for this video I'm doing the book habits tag. A little while ago I did a video talking about whether or not I'm a book completist, which in the video I mentioned that I thought that question would be on the book habit tag, but it wasn't, and so I just made it a whole video all by itself. But I figured I should do the book habit tag, so here we are. <laughs> And if you did not see my Are You a Completist video, go check that out. I will link it down below. But jumping in to the book habits tag, the first question is, do you have a certain place at home for reading? Yes, I do. Let's take a field trip. Harry, can you stop cleaning yourself? Can you just lay like a pretty boy? Thank you. So, I prefer to read here in my bed with Harry Baby. He loves to read with me, and he apparently really wants to give himself a bath right now. <laughs> this is where I read the most often, although I do read more in my office chair than I used to, and occasionally I will read on the couch if the sheets are in the wash or something. But yeah, me and Harry love reading together. Mako does not love reading with me as much. She's not, not as cuddly with me as Harry Baby is. Hi, Mako. And we're back from our field trip. Question number two is bookmark or a random piece of paper? And I would add or dog ear, even though I'm not a dog ear, ear person, ear er. I don't dog ear, but I know other people do, so I feel like uh, they shouldn't be left out of this question. But I am a bookmark person. I have a little bit of a bookmark collection going. My oldest bookmark is my Aragon bookmark. It came in the first book. And then I have a small collection of Disney bookmarks. I've got the Jungle Book. I've got my really pretty Beauty and the Beast bookmark. Here's where she meets Prince Charming, but she won't discover that it's him till chapter three. And then my oldest Disney bookmark is my Frozen bookmark. And then I have a bookmark from when Hank and John Green were on tour for An Absolutely Remarkable Thing, which was hosted by Rainy Day Books. And then I have a few bookmarks from subscription boxes. Got this one, which is a book that I have not read. <laughs> um, I think I got this from the Once Upon a Book Club subscription box. But the quote on it is, not much changes if sleep is where you live out your dreams. Start living your dreams out in the day and sleep becomes a time of rest from living rather than an escape from life. So a good quote. And then my other bookmark is from the Bibliophilic Excursions book box, book subscription box. And the quote on it is, the more you read, the more things you will know. The more you learn, the more places you'll go. Dr. Seuss. And then I also always make my own bookmark. I make probably one or two a year as they wear out because they're just pieces of paper. Um, but I always have one side be kind of books that I've been reading lately at the time that I make the bookmark. So this one I made around the time that I was reading Game of Thrones. And then the other side is always sort of memories from life between the last time I made a bookmark and this time. So yeah, pretty good little bookmark collection and how I pick which one I'm going to use at any given time is partially based on the size of the book. <laughs> I like to have it stick out like about that much and to be about that far from the bottom of the page of the book. So based on the size of the book is what big bookmark, bookmark I pick. And then yeah, I just try to uh, kind of cycle through so they all get a chance to be used. But moving on, that was a very long answer to the bookmark question. Question number three, do you just stop reading when you feel like it or do you have to get to the end of a chapter or do you have to read a certain number of pages? And for this one, I really prefer to end on a chapter if at all possible. And if for some reason I can't, I do at least need to end 
either like if there's a break in the page or if the page ends at the end of a sentence. I can't just stop in the middle of a page at random. Question number four is, do you eat or drink while reading? And I do not. I, when I'm reading, want to be focused on the book. I feel like I wouldn't get as much enjoyment of whatever I'm eating or drinking because I'm more focused on reading. I do at least always try to make sure to have a water bottle next to me because I typically will read for kind of long stretches and I will get thirsty at some point, so I do have to have some water with me usually. Every once in a while I have had like a frappuccino with me, but as I said, I just am more focused on the reading and don't get as much enjoyment of the frappuccino as if I were enjoying it like while watching TV or something. And I definitely don't eat while reading. That just does not make sense to me. <laughs> Question number five is multitasking. Do you listen to music or have the TV on in the background while you're reading? And I do not. I can read while things are happening in the background, like if other people are watching TV or whatever, it's fine, I can read. But if I'm, you know, just reading on my own, I don't like sit out in the living room and have the TV on if no one is around. Because if I'm reading, I'm reading. I don't really want any distractions if I don't have to have any. <laughs> Question number six is one book at a time or several? And this has changed a lot throughout my life. As a kid, I would read several books at a time. I don't really know why. Uh, it's like I thought I was getting through more books that way, but I, now that I'm older, I know logically I was not. But yeah, as a kid, I would read two or three books at a time. And then I stopped that completely and I only ever read one book at a time for a long time. And now I'm kind of at a point where I usually will have a fun book that I'm reading and then like a less fun book that I'm reading, which maybe I just shouldn't be reading these less fun books, but I am. For example, right now I have an H.P. Lovecraft book that I'm reading because I got my boyfriend like a pack of six H.P. Lovecraft short story collections for Christmas last year. And so I wanted to read one to see what it was like, and I think I will only be reading one, <laughs> and I won't be reading anymore because I do not really enjoy it much. I'm reading the one that contains The Color Out of Space because we wanted to watch that movie and so I was like okay this is the one I'll start with that way I can at least read this story before watching the movie and that'll be interesting. But yeah no I, I'm not much enjoying the HP Lovecraft but I've been working on it for months and while reading it I have also been reading much more enjoyable, enjoyable books. For example, right now I'm reading the Zeros trilogy. Question number seven, do you read at home or will you read anywhere? And I will read anywhere, kind of. I prefer to read at home, but I also prefer to read. So if I'm somewhere else and I want to read, I will read. Uh, I read a lot in the car. And yeah, also like I've been known to read at like family events if I'm really into a book and bored at a family event. And I got in trouble all the time for reading in school, but luckily that is no longer a concern. But I will say I don't like go out of my way to read away from home. Like I don't go to a coffee shop to read or anything. Every once in a while, if there's something I want to read but not buy, this might be a bad thing, I'll go to Barnes & Noble and read it. For example, The Walking Dead comic books, because comic books are expensive and I don't really love them, but I wanted to see the difference between the comics and the TV show, so I would just go to Barnes & Noble and read one of the comics while drinking a frappuccino. But anyways, so yes, that's kind of the long answer for that. I'm giving the long answer for all of these. Question number eight, do you read silently in your head or do you read out loud? I read silently in my head unless I'm reading to someone. I do like to read books to people. Not a lot of people are interested in having me do this. <laughs> it's a real, real shame. Uh, but I did used to read books out loud to my parents when, back when I lived with my parents because my mom loves to read but was always super busy and my dad works outside in his shop a lot and likes to have the company. <laughs> Question number nine, do you ever read ahead or skip things? I, for the most part, do not 
skip parts of books. I will find myself, I accidentally kind of just automatically skip dialogue tags a lot, but whenever I notice myself doing this, I'll go back and read the dialogue tags. So there's that. And then also if a, rarely, if a book is like just really, really boring, I will kind of skim slash skip ahead kind of. This is very, very rare. The only book that I can think of where I did this a lot was the Game of Thrones series. <laughs> Those books are very big, very slow. <laughs> Number 10, Break the Spine or Like New. And I try to keep my books in the best condition I possibly can, so I try as, as much as I can to keep them like new. And question number 11, do you write in your books? And based on question number 10, no, I do not write in my books. It is very tempting. I've seen annotating be a thing. The book Words in Deep Blue by Kath Crowley talks about annotating in books a lot and makes it sound very tempting, but I just can't bring myself to do it. I like I like my books to be like new and also I feel like taking up annotating now it's it's not like I could go back and read any of these books for the first time and so it feels like I don't know. I suppose I could do it with with books that I am reading for the first time now, but I just don't see me doing it. <laughs> but since starting my booktube channel, I have started keeping a book, a notebook about books, a book diary, if you will. Um, this book, I keep notes on the books I'm reading, so I kind of remember when I do my wrap-ups what I thought of the books as I was reading them. So I have this, and then I do also, like, write down, like, video ideas and stuff in here. But yeah. So yeah, don't, don't see myself ever writing in my books. And yeah, that was the final question of the book habits tag. I hope you enjoyed it and go check out my Are You a Completist video if you didn't see it. And thanks for watching. Remember, words matter.